Hello guys, um, thank you for your uh, support in this video tutorial I make but I've seen some genuine issues that some of you were facing because the pop-up appear even though I have disabled and stopped so not working every time you restart your PC so this one here is not working and I have to disable and update as well as pop-up it works and uh, let's see after restart it works until restart then something re-enable the service back to automatic yeah this is a genuine concern uh, actually so for today's video we will answer this particular question on how we can make sure that it will be permanent plus for what i'm doing it's working fine for me if i have to open my cs photoshop right now you can literally see that i don't have any problem the last time i used it was maybe the other day and until now i have no problem after i have done the steps i will be showing you today so here i can just make new one and i don't have any problem about the genuine issues of the software so there you go so i was I'm able to do it without going through all the steps again so let's see let's dig on how it should be done so first just make sure that you're uh, you know the, the the steps i made in the video in this one here you already have done it so let's go back here and search for the services make sure you're running it administrator and in this option um, actually this would be enough the Adobe genuine software this is the one that monitors all of those things that is happening uh, for genuine software again this is for educational educational purposes only so I suggest you really have to buy the genuine software for it if you really want to avoid this type of issues uh, let's support of course the, the the programmers for this one so the properties you will have it here so see the disabling is already done even though uh, as you have said some of you were having complained that it in re enabled by itself so yes just make sure that it's disabled if it's the first time disable it and just make sure it's already done so just click ok or apply that will do the job and close this one browse uh, that particular window and the next things you're gonna do is you have to open this uh, you know uh, explorer I would say file explorer and you head to your drive c or local c in your local c uh, technically you will see a thing called program files 86 which is this one here so this one you have so many options in here you can look into and you have to head to what we so called common files so in the common files there are so many so, uh, so many programs you can choose from but our objective is the adobe and once you are in this particular uh, folder what is your objective is to look for Adobe GC client this one here so there's nothing much to do here actually the only thing you have to do is just simply delete it delete that folder and that's it you are done so once you have deleted that software or that particular folder you supposed to be done so you should be able to work on your uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop or any Adobe software uh, as as uh, part of the genuine checking of the legitimate software so that's it that's the solution uh, and hope it will really work for you as it works for me so until next time and thank you for your support and God bless you guys